Okay, hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thanks so much for supporting the channel. So I'm going to go ahead and get a general message for you. Now this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everyone. Just take what resonates for you, Virgos, and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thanks to those who do reach out for those, and thanks to those who donate to the channel. And to those of you who do subscribe, it's very much appreciated. So I do hope that everybody is well, okay, Virgos? Big shout out to anyone whose birthday it is today. Um, be sure to comment down below if it is your birthday. But let's jump into this reading, okay? So what do we have from our Virgos? Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node and Venus. What is the strongest energy here? What is it that they need to know for my Virgos? What does Virgo need to know? Something about a gold dress. I don't know if someone's wearing a gold dress today. But give me a card. New beginnings. Oh, should we take it? So this is the key card, okay? And it is a number 15, which could be significant. I think like there's going to be something to celebrate here, Virgo. So I'm seeing the cracker at the bottom of the deck. It says positive energy surrounds you. It says love, joy, and good fortune await. Now, the key card talks about new beginnings, okay? Like I was saying, it's a number 15, which could be significant, or 51, but it boils down to a six, which talks about victory and success. There's something here, especially with this number of seven as well, that there's something here that spirit is protecting for you. It says new beginnings. It says directions and adventures await for those ready to let go of the past. So letting go of the past is giving me this energy here, Virgos, where if you let go of the past or if you have, Spirit's giving you the key to open new doors. And it's really giving me that energy of whatever it is that you had to let go of or you need to let go of, okay? It's that energy of it couldn't come with you. Whether that be a person, whether that be, I don't know, person, place or thing, habit, mindset. Show me more for Virgo. Yeah, I'm hearing congratulations, congratulations. I mean, maybe someone here has achieved something, right? But let's see. What is the key? What is the key for Virgo? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. We have the Page of Wands. And the Page of Wands talks about good news, communication. It talks about exciting times. But what I love about the Page of Wands is it talks about freedom, right? This makes me think of, I'm looking at this man with this wand, and yes, even though it's a page, right? And, you know, things, you know, can start off small, right? But it makes me feel like this person is almost excited to go on some sort of brand new journey. Almost like he's excited about what the future holds. This talks about <laughs> limitless potentials mm -hmm. someone could be going um how do you say that backpacking because i'm hearing the door a song backpack backpack show me more about the page of ones this is good this talks about excitement there it is. There's the Ace of Wands. Yeah. New beginnings. You could be starting some sort of new project that is very much going to take off for you. But what did I say? Even though it's the page, it was reminding me of the Ace of Wands where things can grow. Maybe something is growing for you. But this is opportunities. And this is because, again, that energy, Virgo, is where I tell you guys every day about you not giving up. You have people behind you that want you to fail. They want you to give up. They want you to, you know, feel disappointed. But no. This is about being excited. Show me more. Now they're singing. <laughs> what is that from? It ain't gonna rain no more, no more. It ain't gonna rain no more. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. For some of you, you're letting go of codependent people. People that were too codependent on you here. Yeah. And they don't know how they're going to survive without you, without your energy, without if you was helping them out financially. King of Wands energy. Aries Leo Sagittarius. There's a lot of wands here, Virgos, okay? Even this King of Wands is holding a wand. But we'll see what clarifies this King of Wands. Because I really feel like this is about not necessarily somebody else, but it could be. But let's see. I really feel like this is about you stepping into that energy of being a visionary, seeing the future, and going after it, following your dreams, because that's what the King of Wands is about. He's a natural leader. Some of you, again, may be starting your own business because the King of Wands can talk about an entrepreneur. But again, it's that energy of being career focused, okay? Focusing on yourself, what makes you happy. What's this? The Ten of Wands, beautiful. Come in with the Page of Wands. This is you dropping any burdens, right? This is you no longer carrying all these people and their problems on your back, right? This is you allowing people to stand in their own mess. You got yourself into it, get yourself out. How do you say this word? Not necessarily no longer being a people pleaser, but it's kind of like that. Maybe some of my Virgos, maybe you are learning to say no. Whereas I feel like Virgos are so used to saying yes because we do want to help people out. We do want you know, to see people happy and do well, but not at your own expense. And especially if these are people where you have been helping them and helping them. And you know what? What are they doing to help, like I said, themselves, right? Maybe some of you are not repeating certain patterns. I feel like I'm repeating myself just a little bit. And maybe you are recognizing that and maybe you're breaking those chains. What's the Ten of Wands with the Page of Wands? And for some of you, it may have been really hard with that Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck to do some of these things, to let go of some of these people. But it's almost like I'm hearing spirits say it's time. Look at that, the Five of Wands, yeah. There may be people that are not happy. This could even be people that have put you in situations where it's like competition. So it doesn't necessarily have to be lovers, right? This could be friends. This could be people you work with, people that you live with. But the five of wands is competition. Or you're not paying attention to it, it looks like. So whoever feathers you're ruffling, mm -hmm, it's behind you. What's this five of wands? Yeah, it's behind you. You're choosing to move forward. You're choosing happiness, joy. And then you've got people that are just trying to work against you and wondering why it's not working. Because you're still standing in the nine of pentacles and you're still loving and caring and nurturing. Or some of you are dealing with a Queen of Cups. But what's this Five of Wands energy? My Virgos. People are mad that you're opening new doors here for yourself. Yeah, Ten of Cups could be family. These people are upset that you're in an emotionally fulfilled place. This talks about harmony. This talks about your dreams coming true. This talks about you being contented. Ace of Swords, standing in your power, the Empress, knowing your worth, the High Priestess, keeping your business to yourself. What's this Ace of Wands? What's the message here for Virgo? The Ace of Wands, there we go, Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady wins the race, but this is you putting the hard work in, putting one foot in front of the other, right? We all know that Rome wasn't built in a day, but this is you still making good investment finances slowly but surely improving what is this landed on the ten of wands the three of wands mm. and i feel like for some of you you know you may have had people that tried to make it difficult for you to move forward they didn't want you to achieve these dreams they don't want you to progress in life right they don't want you to see the bigger picture they don't want you to be a leader and that is what should give you the energy behind you to make you go even harder, Virgos. Hmm. For some of you, I see marriage on the horizon. Or a stable relationship. Some of you could even be relocating or moving, buying your own home. Maybe you had to save for a really long time to relocate. But there's definitely stability here. 
Some of you could be expanding some sort of business. Maybe you was only selling it in, I don't know, your town or city or whatever. Maybe you're expanding that worldwide here as well. What's this King of Wands energy? What's this King of Wands energy? Thank you, Spirit. What do we have for my Virgos? Landing on the Knight of Pentacles is the Queen of Pentacles. One more for the King of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. This could definitely be someone who is seeing your worth. Mm. Now, if this isn't about someone who may be watching you from a distance here, Virgos, right? This could be someone you've left out in the cold for some of you. But this would say to me that... <laughs> um, give me one more. What's the Five of Pentacles? If this is someone that's watching you, they're feeling left out in the cold. They're watching you be successful. Something about the Six of Pentacles energy, the Four of Cups and the Ten of Swords. There's someone who feels like they miss an opportunity for betraying you for some of you. I always get that as well. This could be someone who is experiencing some sort of house issues. Ten of Pentacles, the Hanged Man and the Magician. For some of you, this could be something to do with finances as well. But well, this is what this person sees you achieving. But I also, if this, what I was going to say, if this isn't about a fire sign or someone who is in your energy, okay, and you are taking on this King of Wands, male or female, and you're worried about your finances here, that I see something improving. Just give me one on that Five of Pentacles. One on that five of pentacles the nine of cups yeah this is your wishes coming true yeah they're singing that song Bob Marley don't worry about a thing because every little thing is going to be all right look at this four ones at the bottom of the deck with the king of pentacles queen of swords Someone, I'm telling you, someone may have to watch you go into some sort of stability relationship or just see you celebrating something. There's new doors here. Give me one in the Nine of Cups. What's landing on the Ten of Wands, the Four of Cups? And there's someone here who just feels left out in the cold. They, 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 it's that energy of they just can't get you out of your mind, out of their mind. This is restless energy, someone you may have disconnected from. Yeah, two of cups at the bottom of the deck with the high priestess, the empress. Look at this, the ace of swords, the, te the ten of cups, the ace of pentacles. Oh, there's definitely some rewards coming towards a Virgo here. Show me a little bit about going forward, spirit. My Virgos. What's the energy going forward? You have Seek Alternative Solutions, which is Brew. Show me more. Number 26 could be significant or 62. But again, it boils down to an 8. Right, this. Okay. Show me more about going forward for my Virgos. You have to take the first step, knowing. So some of you know that someone has been trying to stop you. And I don't know with this witch's brew, if this is an energy where someone here just continuously tries to find different ways. Okay, that didn't work. What else can I do? Okay, that didn't work. What else can I do? See how you can kind of see that this person was real slow, right? Because you'd think that if something isn't working the first, second, third, fourth time, maybe this is a sign to give up. <laughs> You have leadership. Virgos, the reason why this person cannot stop you. Look at the bottom of the deck. Deception. This could even be someone close to you because this person is hugging this person, but he has a knife in his hand. Maybe you need to be careful about who you allow in your energy. Okay? 
Yeah, create boundaries. But what I was going to say with this leadership, high priestess energy and the knowing. So no wonder the knowing is out here, right? For some of our goes, you have a purpose. And I've said this a thousand times and I'll say a thousand more if I have to. Because I'm sure I have cross watches in here. The reason why this person cannot stop you is because you have a purpose on this earth. Right? You, some of you are meant to be in a leadership role. And for some of you, yes, these people, maybe they can, you know, slow you down a little bit or whatever, try to throw the spanner in the works, but it's temporary. And then they also have to think about when that energy is released, where do they think it's going to go? <laughs> it's gonna... <laughs> so, you know, I hope that whatever they are wishing for you is energy that they can manage when it comes back to them. Five of Wands, Ten of Wands energy. And what did I say? The Page of Wands ain't even looking at that mess. The Page of Wands is looking forward. There are new things coming in here. They can try to delay them. They can try to slow them down. But because you know with the Three of Wands, because you have the vision, right? You're able to see the bigger picture. Some of you know how to protect yourselves, right? For a lot of you, these people are probably even attacking you because you are the high priestess. Because they feel like you know things that you shouldn't. They need to have a conversation with the Most High because he's the one that blessed you with the gift. Virgos, keep moving forward. All right, I'm hearing that bit. When I was saying at the beginning, someone could be wearing a gold dress or something like that. I don't know. Now it's making me think of royalty. And, and when I say that, I mean a child of the divine aren't we all yes but some of us i guess have been chosen <laughs> virgos that is what i have for you today um yeah what i was, I was saying they were showing me the bit in I, I, i've mentioned this movie before hello dolly when the bit when she's on the train and she's shouting all aboard Give me one card so I can end this reading. Thank you, Spirit. My Virgos. Or two. Main male. <laughs> and marriage and sudden wealth. Mm -hmm. I told you I saw a proposal here for somebody. <laughs> Virgos, this is where we part. Stay safe. Love and light, guys.